Hello! In this video we'll be learning how to create a calendar table with M in Power BI. For this you need to create your query first. You need to go to get data and then blank query. This will get us to the query editor. Once there, the first thing I'm gonna do is to rename my query to date table. You can do this in this side of the screen and also on this other side. Only right click on the query name and click on rename option. Once done, we need to start writing the code that will help us to create the list of dates. This function is actually called list.dates. This function has three different arguments. The first one is the date from which you want to start your list. You need to write the pound sign and then date. So the first part of this argument is the year, then the month and then the date. In this case we're starting from January 1st, 2015. If you would want to start from June 1st, 1995, you would have to write 1995-61. Then the second argument is the number of periods that you want to include in, in your query. So I'm going to write 365 as this is the, the number of days in the year and then times 21. This is because I want the list to include 21 years. And then the last argument is the duration of each period. We will write again the pound sign and then write duration. And this object has actually four different parts. The first one is for days, the second one for hours, then the next one is for minutes and the last one for seconds. Then we just need to hit enter and our list of dates will be ready. If you for example change this one to uh, three for example, as you can see it will start from January 1st 2015 but the period will have a duration of three days. So that is what this part of the function is for. But since we only want a date per each day in the year, we're gonna write the one there. You need to write this with uppercases, the L and the D in the function, otherwise it's not gonna work because M is actually a case sensitive language, so you gotta be really careful with that. Also, if you start writing this date with uppercase, it won't work. So just be careful with all the upper and lower cases in the function. As you can see, this is only a list, it's not a table yet, so we need to convert this into a table. We can do this in the transform tab that is available for us in the list. So we need to go to transform and then click on this option called to table then we we hit ok and it now looks like a table the icon that we have here we only need to rename our column to date and also change the type we're gonna put date here and after this you can start adding some more columns using this date option that power query has you can add the year also you can add the name of the month you can also add the number of days within the month there are actually a lot of options that you can use it will depend on the type of analysis that you will use this table for this is basically what you need to do to create a calendar table in in M. It's actually pretty simple. You will find the, the code that we used in the description of the video. And thank you so much for watching. We hope that this was useful for you.